Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Today's chat is about the Lex Motel ZFX F EFI 125. So it has a 10.5 litre tank and an 18 litre capacity to put your fuel in. <laughs> so it actually has LED indicators, LED display, and dual braking. So when you brake on the front, it activates the front and when you press the front it activates a little bit on the back to help you to keep on the road when it's not wet so it is a pretty big bike and it is based off the honda cbf and uh, it, it's kind of more bulkier than uh, the honda cbf <laughs> my channel <laughs> Mark Savage here now. Daniel, come back in, mate. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today, Boost. This young man here has got a nice little company with Boost t-shirts and hoodies. And very nicely, bought me one. And even better, on the back, King of the Shed. He knows me well. What a nice little looking bike for a 125. Actually looks quite big. When I first see the pictures, it did look like the CBF Honda's 125. 10.5 brake horsepower, but this young man says it gets how much? Uh, it says 80 on the clock, but it's, I wouldn't say it's 80. I mean, he's keeping up with the traffic. Most of these hit before do about 67 mile an hour actual. But at the end of the day, he's keeping up with traffic and overtaking when he wants to. Nice and sturdy on the road. LCD clock, as he said. LED indicators. And there's a nice few extra features. I mean, the size of that exhaust, first looking, it looks like a much bigger exhaust. And I first looked at it and thought, very much like the ZZR 1400. What do you reckon? Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. 18 litre tank, that's quite a big tank really, isn't it? For a small little bike like this. Um, good seating position. I like the little extras. Now, if any of you remember the old Pulse, they had this little electric start business that would start and very often fails. Does it still electric start? It does. Wow, okay. Every single time. <laughs> now here's something I quite liked actually. You know normally when you lift the little boot bit up, it's on hinges. Come on. Now it says EFI on here, but it has got an actual ECU down here, not a CDI. It's quite a big plug unit really. And it has an extra plug, and you can actually have it programmed as well. There you go. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Hinge, mmm. And what was this then? So that is a plug so you can have an OBD reader. Okay. So if you've got a problem with the bike, uh, because lights do come on, so on the ignition it will tell you that your battery's low and engine warning light. Okay. So when the engine warning light comes on, they will plug it straight into here and they will read the bike and then the ECU will just tell them what it is, if it's something oil change or wants something else changing on it or sorting out quite a lot of technology really for a little bike like this I mean a lot of big bikes don't have that I mean that's, that's technology from a car isn't it I did notice this so there should be some screws in here or nut bolts in here but we are cable tied who did that I did that because when I bought the bike um, it come with the bolts and I were trying and trying and trying long after a lot of effing and jeffing and I thought sod it and I just put zip ties on it and it's worked pretty well <laughs> you know how much I hate zip ties but I mean if it works it works just a quick look. Very much Suzuki front headlight there, isn't it? I see you have your boost sticker there. It does, and it also has LEDs in the front here. Very nice. And then day running lights and LED indicators as well. This is what I was saying. This bit here does look like the CBF, but it's got a nice little panel that sort of elongates that as well. Simple engine, again, I always say this, check your oil, keep an eye on it. And this is quite big exhaust. Makes the rear of it a lot fatter. 17 plate, 2017, side stand and centre stand. Wait, what's this microphone? <laughs> what is it? Um, it's a separate crankcase breather. Um, basically 
I split the crankcase was breathing off the airbox and the engine was breathing off the airbox so it would go in like both ways but it had a wire mesh it's a sponge that was sucking water <coughs> he knows that you know that I do know that and I've watched your videos and I know I shouldn't do that <laughs> <coughs> wife now come in and slap in the back of the head <laughs> however he's not been through the rain in it yet so we shall see he doesn't go out in the rain much so He's a dry rider, unlike me. And when it rains, you go where? In the girlfriend's car. <laughs> dry riders. <laughs> if you like this t-shirt and hoodie and weight, different colors and matching hoodies, come on. And again, he'll print on the back. Now I did request a little extra for me on the arm. So not only does this young man have a nice clothing range, but he also will listen to what your requests are and upgrade little bits for you as well. As I said, the link will be on the website for you, so you can click on and have a look what clothes he has. I know you do different colours and different designs. Yeah, I do. So the website is still in making, okay. so we have the car ones at the minute, so if you're a fan of cars as well. We do have car ones, so you can have cartoon Japanese car or if you like German cars, then it's up to you. So you're pretty easy. Yeah. So how do you work this out? If someone says to you, I'd like your jumper or hoodie or a t-shirt and I want this design, um, basically, will you then send them a couple of designs back over email and so on? Yeah, so when, say if you're interested in the Boost hoodie, um, but you don't want to buy it because it's not got something on it that you would quite like, um, you can actually just email uh, the um, Boost merch UK at gmail.com that's it okay. I keep forgetting it so that should be in the description as it well. will be in the description the link will be easily found so normally it's description but like today and the link below so yeah just email I'm or I personally do the emails myself okay uh, so you just email and say you know I do like that design there but could I have something on on the sleeve for example mm. I can do that sizes uh, we do small to extra large. To fat bastard. <laughs> extra large. What size is this? Uh, that is an extra large okay. because you wanted to put it over your yep. jacket as well. I'm going to get this over my jacket. But if you are a bit, you know, bigger and you want, you put your motorbike jacket. I can actually source XXL ones. Up to what? Three, two. Uh, three. Three XL, yeah. and that's going to be quite big. I used to like riding with these over my jacket, to be honest with you, and it's quite a nice looking hoodie, so I'd have probably rode this, put it on my jacket, should I say, it's so very nice. So there we go, today we've met Daniel. Bit of a funny intro start, I know, and I did literally throw this at him, he's a local <laughs> lad to me, he contacted me and said, um, Marky, you know, I'd love you to wear my t-shirt and hoodies, and you can use them in your garage, so. I couldn't turn that down, could I? I mean, he said I'm gonna put my name on it. Hey, even better, just in case I forget who I am. Nice looking little bike though, I have to say. I've just recently bought another 125 as well, Yamaha XT, video coming up with this one. But as I said, it's nice, nice color as well. These are about 1,700 pounds new. Um, this is two year old. What did you pay for it and how long you had it? 900 pound and three months. You've had it three months? Yep. That's not bad, is it? It's a nice looking bike. As in my videos, WD, keep an eye on the oil, easy to do the air filter and so on, and the microphone. Yeah, that'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> that'll definitely be going. Gear change, good braking. I mean, it's got dual braking. It has dual braking. And that's it's, not bad at all. It's good when yeah. it works, but as mine, it had a problem with the front brakes because I almost got into an accident. Okay. So I was coming down the road, a uh, car decided to pull in front of me. I've slammed on. Every bike rider knows what he's just explaining there. And slammed on, and the engine cut out. Clutch was in, bearing in mind, so I didn't stall. The engine cut out on me, so I don't know what happened. And I was rolling towards a wall, pressed the brakes, and they faded out. It's what they're like, servo assisted and all, they? I, I think so, but um, okay. it's, it does feel like a bit of ABS in there. It has effect like an ABS. So when you slam on it, the wheels do not jutter. I mean, they're not because they'd have the little wheel round yeah. there, so um, the inner wheel for ABS. I mean, it's a big old chunky fat front caliper on here. Have a look at this. That's quite a big old chunky front caliper, I must say. It's got the dual braking bit and the actual, I don't know if it's a servo or not. 
Last of it is here. So obviously for the dual braking system as well for the back caliper. That caliper looks about a normal size if I'm honest with you. If it was ABS it would have a small wheel in the front I'm pretty sure it would have had there. But again, not a bad looking bike. So to end, 80-ish mile an hour. Have to see how that goes. 18 litre tank, standard wheels. I mean the back one is... The 110 by bloody plain. Where is it? <laughs> Honestly, you think on the bloody flight path from Heathrow. Oh, it's a helicopter. <laughs> ah. So 110 by 80 by 17 rear tyre. 110, it's thin, but they make these so you do a really good miles per gallon on these bikes. So and I'm guessing what are you getting out of this? <sighs> the last time I read it. Uh, it said I roughly did 100, 120. To a tenner? Yeah. So we're talking 60 high 60s miles per gallon, and as I said, he does 70, 80 miles an hour, so that's not bad, it's what you expect. Well, the jury's out about this electronic starting, because I say on the older ones, it just didn't work, and it's an odd little bit. But it's nice knowing that you can do all that for the electrics on these, and it's the first one I have seen. He's going to quickly start it up, we're going to have a look at the dash, and then I think we'll call it a day. That's not got a bad sound to it, quite meaty really, isn't it? It is. What's it like when you're going at your, your 78 or mile an hour, it's got a nice little rumble to it? It doesn't get high pitch like, so you see young kids with their aftermarket exhausts, and when they're sitting at traffic lights, mm, yeah, that sounds nice, but when they get going, it's deafens you. <laughs> but this, it, it keeps the nice little rumble. Mm. You go into bolts much? I do. I go around it quite a lot. And the loose, getting loose that way. Yeah. I mean, this is end of day. I've always said it. A little bit of maintenance will save you a long way. Just going around the bolts, checking the oil, and just WD40. And they're going to keep going. This is what this young man seems to be doing. So, thank you so much, Daniel, for coming today. You're welcome. Show me your lovely little bike. Thank you for the t shirt. Link is on the description. Check out his channel. You take care of yourselves, and goodbye from me, and goodbye from me. <laughs>